Is it actually a nest? One nesting mushroom. It is. So. Last time we saw one of them was in Lake Aloha. Yeah. Oh, this is very Lady Mary-like. Do we really have to go up this steep hill? Stop drinking it then. I don't want to. I'm gonna have a cup of tea. to Roundair Park in Leeds. We're not sure how busy it's going to be. Um, Nick's just munching on a breakaway there. Mm -hmm. um, so we're just going to go and have a look, see if we can have a mooch around. I've never uh, been once before. Yeah, it's a very big park. Apparently it's one of the biggest city parks in Europe. Um, so we'll just go see what it's like. Hopefully it's not too round. And um, you never know, we might have an ice cream. Right, we're here at Roundair Park. And this particular part of Roundair Park is nice and quiet, Dead. as you can see behind me. Dead. Perfect I mean, thickness. It, it, just it, seen somebody with a table and chair that just come in with the family and just yeah. sat there. I mean, they were outside at road, so that one would be my choice, but it's just so peaceful. I mean, I imagine if the sun was out, it'd be a lot more busier. Yeah, but look at the size, the size of this, you couldn't yeah. fill this. So we're heading to that side of Roundy Park. It looks like there's some um, buildings and play areas and stuff like that. So we'll see what's over there. And I've brought a cup of tea, should I say a flask of tea. Have you got a cup? No, we'll just have to drink it out of a flask. How classy. Found a nice seat. I'm going to get the flask of tea out. Sandwiches, right? Sandwiches, we haven't brought any. You better have. We haven't even brought a packet of crisps today. I'm about to put clean Pez shorts on. Make sure you don't fall today. You need to take the other muddy ones to your mum's to wash. So this is another part of Round Air Park. Massive, it is. They used to, uh, um, my sister once saw Madonna here in concert and Michael Jackson. What do you think to that? My face says it all. Today's chocolate snack of choice is a breakaway. And Nick's just looking on Amazon Prime to see what we can get for the weekend. It's Father's Day. So um, we may do sort of like a little picnic in the garden or, or out somewhere. So uh, hurry up because I want to start walking around. Where are we walking now? What are we going for? Back up that. Eh? No way. The van is all the way back up there. That's where we were sat on that bench right up there. Um, so, not really seen anything yet, like a lake or anything like that. There isn't one, that's why. Just having another chill. Oh, the sun's coming out. First time today. So we've got a couple of people we want to say hello to while we're just sat here. So hi to Lauren. Um, welcome back to her. And I'm covered in flies. Wait a minute. There's a, there is a lake. So Nick said there wasn't a lake. It's just it's just behind me. Let me yeah, in front of me, should I say, behind the camera. Oh, so there it is. We're going to walk over that bridge, maybe. Yeah. yeah. And um, who else have you got to say hello to? Uh, hello to Jolene Hamilton. So welcome, guys. And um, I'm sure you're already on Discord. Yeah, we have another watch party tonight watching Frozen. People have been begging to watch Frozen, haven't they? So uh, come on, let's continue our And when Frozen 2 is out in the beginning of July, we'll be watching that as well. I don't mind that, actually, because it's more adult. I like Frozen too. And uh, hello to Uncle Van. We're missing, Hi, Uncle Van. We're missing you, Uncle Van. Yeah. Talk to us. Right, Nick, tell us about Round Air Park while we're here. So this is literally read straight from Wikipedia. So in the 11th century, William the Conqueror granted the lands of which the park stands to Libert de Lacy for his support in harrying of the north in the winter of 1069 to 1070. De Lacy was founded. Um, Pontefract Castle was a knight from Normandy. During the 13th century, the area was used as a hunting park for the De Lacy's, who were the lords of Bowland on the Yorkshire-Lancashire border. Owners of Roundey passed through succession to John of Gaunt and then to his son, Henry V. Sorry, Henry IV. In the 16th century, Henry VIII gave the park through to the manor to Thomas Darcy through succession and marriage, and it was acquired by Charles Sturton, 
uh, and Baron Sturton in 1702 to 1753. There's quite a lot of old history, so if you check it out on Wikipedia, um, you can get a lot more history on the park from there. What's that thing? Right at the side of us. Mm. Is it actually a nest? One nest in It is. So. The last time we saw one of them was in Lake Aloha. Yeah. In um, Florida. In Florida. Orlando. And it were a was it a black swan in Orlando? No, they were white. Go on, do it. Quack, quack, quack. No. It kind of looks artificial. artificial. What? Like? It just looks like it's a set. Like a Japanese garden or something. Yeah. It's like it's... Loads of birds tweeting. Oh, you can get smell? into woods there. Let's go over there. What's that smell? I'm going there. It smells like garlic. Yeah, it does actually. I bet you this is wild garlic. Oh, where? I bet you this is wild garlic. Yeah, it's wild garlic. Look like it, doesn't I just want it? it up. It's got the white flower, which so, hasn't actually has come out yet. Oh, so that where the bulbs would be? No. Oh, wild garlic underneath? No, underground? No, no. no. Wild garlic doesn't have bulbs. Well, like, eh? It's like spring onion. Wild garlic's not like that. Oh, okay. Well, not according to this picture, anyway. Well, it does have bulbs, but they're really tiny ones. Can we take some for our omelettes tonight? I'm not sure how to cook it. Nick's having a moment. It, 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 this doesn't feel like a real wood. It says it feels like a um, Harry Potter set it in Warner like, Brothers Studios. It, does, it feels like I'm actually going onto a film set that's, and all this has been perfectly placed and the ground's all been perfectly prepared. Do you not think the same though? It's it's just nice. has a, it has a weird feel about it. It's like it's, like it's got a roof on. It's like I'm on Harry Potter. Right, we're heading back, hopefully, to where the van is. But it's quite a walk, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, this is very Lady Mary-like. Having Go for afternoon tea. Afternoon tea in that thing. I'd love it. In the observatory. I'd love it. What? Oh, it's for drinking, know. not wean. Do we really have to go up this steep hill? Unless you're planning on getting a bus. <sighs> well, where's bus? How's that McFlurry doing for you? Delicious. What flavour did you get? Malteser. Although there's no Malteser, it's just bits of chocolate. What are we having for tea? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, we're having a Spanish omelette, aren't we? Mmm. With chorizo? Mmm. Sounds nice. Let me look at your um, McFlurry. I'll eat this first because it'll melt because it's bacon hot today. You've gone for mini? Yeah. Did it be healthy? No, I'm trying to answer some. Mmm. 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 -mm. We have a delivery! So earlier on when we were in Round A Park, Lee's just getting ready to play um, Dan's uh, quizzes quiz. Yes I am. What theme is it today? I don't know but it says children not advised. Oh, well knowing Dan it'll be um, definitely watershed. Um, so yeah, we've ordered some essentials. We're going to have a picnic later in the week. We're actually going to go back to Harewood House, set up a picnic on the little field on Saturday when the weather's nice. Uh, possibly on Sunday when it's Father's Day, but today we've just got some fresh fruit and some other bits and bats. And I think there's some uh, cupcakes in here somewhere, so I'm going to open these and have a quick look. No sports mix. Oh yeah, I did actually get some sports mix oh, as well. Fritz. I did squeeze them in the basket. You're not wanting it then? No, I don't. Then fine, you won't have any. You're doing a sterling job there while I'm doing this quiz. I'm going to slap you. What do you mean? You playing quizzes and I'm doing housework. Doing a quiz? Nice to see you've put everything on the floor again. Well, whoever don't like it can come and get it off. <laughs> Is that some gone off coriander or something there? Yeah. Right, well I'm going to do round two of Dan's quiz now. Right, I'm waiting for um, round two to finish. Oh, round. The 18 plus round. Right, I have a little job for you. I can't do that while I'm doing a, a quiz. You didn't even know what it is yet. What is it then? Get me a brew dog, please. Oh, for goodness sake. It's so cold. Well, that's it nice and really easy. Let me whistle when I uh, on bridge. What, you frigging whistle? Mm, there we go. Nice and easy. You enjoy your tasks that easy. There you go. Uh, what? Manky corners. Right, tea's almost ready. So we've got chorizo, onion, and potato. Pre cooked potato in there. Six eggs. I've got a little bit of paprika in there as well, and I've mixed all the vegetables, all that's cooked, and I'm now going to add the egg, and then stir it all around, and then I'm going to cook it on one side, and then grill it on the top. And then by that time, Leo will finish playing his games. Ooh. Stick me a big bit on, I'm starving. Now, we're not going to do what we did last time tonight. We're not going to end up eating it, and then thinking, I'm still hungry, I'm going to have another slab. Yeah, right. Bec no, I'm not. Because, well, that one's mine. Why? It's a bigger. Uh, because, you will end up being absolutely stuffed. Whatever, I'm having. I'm going to put some Heinz ketchup on it. Don't wreck it. 
comments of the day. Are you drunk? No, not yet. But I intend to be. Brewdog IPA. It's absolutely rank. But yet, yeah, it's my third can and it's quite nice actually. It's really bitter. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit because we're a bit far away. There we go. I've not drunk any alcohol for seven weeks. Can you shift up so I can get in? Right, your chunky legs are stopping me getting in. Thanks for commenting, guys. We always read every comment. And uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, your phone's faster than mine. Right, Kev right back. Kevin Ducker says, guys, you have got to bring out a t-shirt with I don't class beer as booze on it. I'll go and do it right now. Hmm, that's one of those stupid sayings that you said. It's there. not. It's a true saying. If you drink gin, then beer just like pop. Lenny Randall says, who likes McDonald's more, Nick or Lee? Me. I would say Nick. Me. Yes. We went today. Basically, Nick likes food a lot more than me. No, I do love food. You like a hippopotamus. Alex McGee says, love the Insidious films. How is the no alcohol going, Nick? What? Oh, right. it was <laughs> It was tonight's vlog, wasn't it, when I was... Um, I've not drunk any gin. Haven't touched gin for all, since that night at all. Liam Sawyer says, made my day funny as hell watching other people suffer with hangover. Oh. But I'm sure Nick said he wasn't drinking gin four episodes ago. I haven't drunk any gin since that night. And will not drink gin again. Um, Until I've bought some tonic. Oh, Linda Hamilton's here. She says, what a state to get in to being there horrible. Are oh, those burgers yum? Our skip is one day odd numbers on reg next day or letting lettering confusing stay safe that must be when we went to the tip mandy candy says look watching your you both you make me smile and i look forward to your vlogs each day um carl sixsmith says seriously chaps my dad died of drink as did my best friend the funniest cleverest man i've ever met he went from having a glass of wine to unwind after work and died age 47 of liver failure so let that be a lesson to you. Stop I'm drinking. nowhere near that. Uh, Maureen G says, if this vlog is from Sunday gone, the 14th, then your apples need to be eaten as soon as possible. Last Sunday. Today, two days ago for us was the 14th. So for you, it'll be like 20, 20 odd. Um, Frankie W says, dirty burgers are the best cure. And uh, one more, Karen Jones says, I get really bad anxiety when I see Nick wiping all the shopping down because he just uses one wipe. Oh no, we did that yesterday, didn't we? Did we? Oh, we can't. It's an hour ago. No, we can't. Because he just uses one wipe to clean everything, so basically it just look, it's just moving the germs onto everything. But yeah, but Other people said that before. It doesn't because the cloth is saturated in, in germ killer. You can't use like one cloth per item of shopping. You use like a packet of cloths every time if you've you got If you've got a cloth that's soaked in bleach, just because you wipe it onto some germs doesn't mean to say that, that, cloth, that those germs exist. It's antibacterial. It kills the germs. It's fine for about six or seven items. So are you watching Frozen tonight? Everybody's pulling out. I'm going to have to watch it. Well, About six people have said, I'm not going to watch this. I'm not going to watch I've this. I've watched the last two watch past films and I've really enjoyed them well. Nick's been asleep. So it's Ariel's fault tonight. for putting up some crap. I've seen Frozen a thousand times. I would just want to go and maybe do some editing or... Maybe I'll just listen to music and chip in every now and again, pretend I'm watching it. Well, you watch it up here and I'll go and just do some... Oh, stuff I'm not going downstairs. Else. Oh, you just you bring me downstairs. No, you just bring me some sports mixtures in a bowl. They're not called sports mixtures, I've told you this. Sports mix. Bring some sports mix in a bowl, and I'll sit on the computer, sweating my tits off because it's absolutely baking upstairs, and I'll watch Frozen with everybody. What with, we well, with Ariel. What we're doing tomorrow? It's Wednesday. Um, we're doing a live tomorrow night. No. Doing live on Sunday, but tomorrow we've got our face masks finally arriving. Oh, yeah, we have, yeah. Um, so we can go out shopping. filters have turned up tonight, but we haven't got any. We're not going out shopping. As filters have turned up tonight, but no masks to put them on, and um, the what? weather's going to be crap again. What we're getting face masks for? When we're going to use them? For when they make, when they make it mandatory, when you go outside, because it's going to happen. Watch this space. It'll be mandatory in all public places within the next three weeks, I bet you. And I have. I keep having this desire to start packing, like getting the house ready for going back to the lodge. I can't understand. It's like I've just got a need to pack whatever. So I might watch a bit of Frozen and then go and do that. Pack what? Just stuff that's all cluttered around, like in boxes and get it ready for going back. Don't touch any of my stuff, please. I won't touch your stuff. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Very dark in here. What? You're supposed to be watching Frozen on a watch party. I am. And all I can hear from downstairs is the Sex and the City theme 
It's theme hard, track. but I just keep dipping in. I know, I've seen the film enough to know that I can dip in and join in and make it look like I'm actually contributing. I can tell by your eyes you're drunk. I'm not drunk. It's just warm. Well, open window. I've opened that window and that window. Well, this door. I can open this one. This door's closed. The street or here where I'm playing. Sprue dog. Stop drinking it then. I don't want to. I'm gonna have a cup of tea. Off cup of tea. Good morning. Get yourself on camera. Oh, wait, stop. Oh. Why didn't we finish the vlog last night? Because you were too tired. Thing. Oh no, you were drunk on on. I wasn't drunk. I took cans of beer. Oh, um, I've just finished editing, but I've got to finish this this scene as well. It's Wednesday for us. What's happening today? Masks are coming. We've got our face mask coming finally. Um, that's it. My dad just called me. Oh, I heard your phone. They tried to order something on Amazon, and I ended up ordering three instead. So there's a mass panic on. <laughs> um, I'll tell you, if you're over 60, you should have your mobile phone or your technology taken off you. Here we go. Oh, it's all in another three. Back in a minute. <laughs> They've sorted it. They managed to cancel it. <laughs> uh, right, so we're going to finish the vlog, guys. The coffee is on for today, which you will probably see in the next vlog. Um, we are, at the moment, using Coffee Mate Light. Um, it's about four calories different as food. Is it? It's not even worth it. Oh well. That's what we're using today. Nick's preparing breakfast. We have bit no idea what we're doing today. Bit far of, hair. Bit of, bit, of bit of far hair. So thanks for watching guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Drop us a comment. We always read them all and we'll see you tomorrow for a new vlog.